Enhanced safety measures have been implemented at Singapore's Changi Airport. That's to protect workers and travellers after a COVID-19 outbreak there last month. Gwyneth Teo with this report. Zhongwu Changi Airport is reopening on Monday, but not the passenger terminals. So let staff get used to enhanced measures. Or what do these mean? One of the ones that we actually observed earlier uh, today is a breathalyzer that staff will have to take after every shift. Now, this will tell you your result, your COVID-19 test result, in just two minutes. And it's designed to give peace of mind. And it's also very, very fast. And it's also non-invasive. So it's very different from the current testing regime that uh, workers here in the airport are doing right now. Okay. So, and that's just really one of the things that um, all the staff here are going to have to adapt to in the long run, including enhanced measures that were announced uh, last month, including segregation of workers into different zones. So if you work in a zone that is more frontline, uh, especially uh, those that see passengers coming in from high-risk countries, uh, you will be segregated from the rest of your colleagues. You will take your meals separately. Additionally, authorities and Changi Airport Group are actually putting aside $15 million also to help staff and the airport companies uh, adapt to these things. So this will help to go toward defraying the cost of the full protective personal equipment that they all have to wear, and, uh, that they have to wear now. Um, the provision of these meals for those that can't go to food courts, for example, to take their meals, as well as a special monthly allowance just to help staff tight across these uh, difficult times. Our Transport Minister S.S. Warren was also with us at the airport just now, and he said that all these are really about restoring confidence in air travel, again, especially at the airport here, even if it does mean a very drastic change to how this airport operates. This is really a, an inversion of the model, you know, because we talk about the Changi experience. What does that mean? That actually means travelers from all over the world coming and, in fact, mingling as they experience Changi, not just the physical facilities, but the larger experience. Now we are saying we want to segment the passengers we are taking a much more calibrated approach. So this is an adjustment not just in terms of physical arrangements, it's also an adjustment from operational processes point of view, but it's also an adjustment for the staff.